Hi everyone, my name is Sonal Sharma and I am working as functional consultant with BISP Solutions. I am working on Oracle Arx application that is account reconciliation cloud services. In today's video, we are going to see that how using EPM Automate for importing profiles. So let's start. We'll move to the application first. Going to administrator part at the home page, going to download, and this is the way you can download the EPM Automate. Now moving to the command sections, how we are going to do this. Okay, I'm opening the EPM Automate part here. Okay, let's just start with the commands. I created one uh, of the profile here through which uh, I am going to, uh, you know, give commands. Okay, so this is um, how we are going to cover. Okay, so what we need to do is first of all, I am going to, uh, you know, login. For login purpose, I need to encrypt the data. So my first command would be call EPM automate encrypt password and the my key id and passwords okay so this is the way i am going to you know replace in this command with the uh, password of my url uh, login id and passwords okay so let's just start uh, where you can get these commands you can go to the uh, account reconciliation commands part in the oracle okay so this is how you can move to it so i am starting with it now i am going to log in first so uh it encrypted my uh, password successfully now i am going to provide for the login id password and url detail for login purpose okay so this is the command here where i am going to uh, exactly uh, providing uh, the username here as you can see this is the encrypted password uh, part as you can see it from here and this is my url for the login purpose as you can see it here so this is uh, i'm just showing you an example for it so let's just log in So as you can see, it is the successful login for me. Now I am moving uh, to uh, the data what I want to import. So uh, now I am not importing the data, but I am importing the profiles. Okay, so you can take it as a uh, importing metadata. So these are the file, uh, you know, profile names in this file I am going to import through EPM Automate. Okay, so let's uh, just give the command for that. So here I am uploading the file. Okay, I am uploading the file through call EPM Automate upload file. And at the place of upload file, I am providing the location of the file. Okay. So let's see how it is going to work. <clears throat> okay, let's see what is the issue arising here. I am create copying this and creating the place for this. Okay, now copying this. Now I am copying this to the another place. Let's see how it is going to take it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the location I provided. This process is 100% completed and upload file completed successfully. Now what I need to do is once I upload the file of the profiles, now I need to import it in the application. So 
for importing the profiles, I am choosing the command of call EPM Automate import profiles and the name of the CSV file. Okay, the name of the CSV file, which I am taking it from, this is in the location part. Okay, and this is as this is the profile and not uh, the child of the summary reconciliation part. So I am taking it as profile and I'm not updating it, but replacing it. If you want to update it, you can utilize update and you want to replace, then you can play, uh, write replace here. And here you need to provide the um, date format. So this is how I, you know, I am importing this into my application. Okay. Okay. It is under process. Okay, so as you can see, the import profiles completed successfully and details as job complete successfully and processed files are seven and succeeded are seven and failed is zero. So let us see these things on the application part, okay? Here you can see in the profile section, there are uh, multiple, you know, profiles. As you can see here, the profiles are given like one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the sequence. Now I am providing. This is Tan. Now let's see. This is Tan 11, 12, 13, and 14. And in my profile, the name of the profile segment is 15, 16. That means 14 onwards. So let's see how it is looking so i am going to reload here okay i am refreshing the application right now multiple times so just after a particular time it will get refresh and you can see the profile name here okay so i am going to see that is one five Maybe it is taking a bit time. Let's wait for some time. As you can see here, uh, in case if you, uh, you know, uh, committed any type of mistake or any, uh, you know, uh, 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 discrepancies here it is not uh, showing you as job completed successfully it will throw you some error and you need to find out what would be that reason and what is the reason why it is not showing you can uh, you know correct those errors as well as uh, if I um, you know upload this file once again it will show you that this file is already exist or it is under you know uploading process or something like that so you cannot upload the same file again and again for it. It is not going to consider it. Okay. So let's just see whether it is coming or not. Okay. I am again reloading this. Let's see whether it is here or not. So here you can see the way we did. Let's just uh, see whether it is here or not sometimes the number of files uh, where uh, are much uh, in numbers so it will take time so here you can see this is the files after you know 14 onwards we have seen 15 16 17 these are the profiles we imported here through using the commands in epm automate and these are the you know functioning through epm automate so this is it for today's video Thank you.